Welcome back to Pister Farms, everybody. Where are we now? Well, there's cobs on the ground, and you can obviously hear a piece of machinery behind me, so I'll give it away. The other gleaner, number two, maybe it's number I get them mixed up all the time. I haven't numbered them yet, I'm just calling them numbers. That's number two, we'll say for today. Number one or two, I don't know. Oh, well, we got the 46. And the Kill Bro is 475 with the extension on it. Um, pretty much full. I'll hop up there. Corn. Just smacked my hand, too. Yeah, look at that. Man, that hurt. Well, we're combining corn so like beans you can put them in your mouth and you can tell if they're dry or not corn you can't just by feeling it a little bit am i bleeding no we're fine but this is what corn looks like and this grain cart's just about full i would say a little bit more room in there i don't think that much so i might just take it to the end of the row and call it a day might go grab the drone if i have time there's what corn looks like you can't eat corn right away. You can eat soybeans, but you can't eat corn. Just neat. The top of the 46. Combine, just combining away right now. Um, had an issue this year with the yield. Let me put you guys down for a second. We had an issue with the yield. Because you're not supposed to be able to do this with corn walk out here find a random stock like this and just pull it right out of the ground it doesn't have any roots on it so it might be looking at a different hybrid next year but there's a 7110 of the bradford um i might just throw that clip in right now or i might not because we did combine some last night i don't know if i am or i'm not well we'll see but if you guys watch the clip you're back so, stand here at the Okay, camera didn't really want to work for a second there, but this green cart is awesome. I think all green carts are awesome. I don't know why anybody would want to go to wagons, but that's your choice. What you want to do with your farm, and we want to just get a green cart. And it's basically just a portable auger, but we use wagons for the longest time in these fields and it just took a lot of time to move wagons around and it was just a pain it's going to be a hassle to have wagons with these bigger combines with the m3 and stuff he's off in the distance you can barely even hear him probably zoom in on him though but it was getting to the point where the combines were getting too big and we had we had the horsepower to use a bigger grain cart even that thing handles that grain cart like a champ you might not have any like 8235 hours like a 4840 but this thing handles it just fine i don't know why i don't know what the people have in their head when they're putting a hundred thousand dollar tractor or a two hundred thousand dollar maybe even a three hundred thousand dollar tractor on a grain cart it doesn't make any financial sense to me at all because a 7140 magnum can probably pull a kinsey 1000 grain cart my opinion is you don't need to have your biggest most expensive tractor a grain cart but we kind of have to do it that way because 1175 would probably be sketchy with some of the things that we got um, i'll probably walk over here for you guys if you guys can hear can't hear me through the wind yeah bear with it but i don't think we're leaving any on the ground generally very minimal this corn is testing around 15 percent and you know when corn's around 15 percent what happens we no longer have to pay any drying costs to get it dry dry at all so that's nice and handy the way it is but this isn't a higher sandy knoll and it looks okay that's an ear corn that's not the greatest one but we got a ton of them so uh, this farm our farm is in adams county it's a kid playing in there with the stereo and stuff wonder who he is but uh we farm 
Adams County, Wisconsin, New Haven. I can't figure out which one. I'll remember. But we're harvesting away here and probably try to get my drone out here. And if I don't, it's not going to be a very good video, but I will try to get my drone out here while we're harvesting corn. So, see you guys in a few. Hopefully, we'll have a couple trucks loaded and we'll hopefully be loading this again and harvesting some more corn today. So, enjoy the rest of your guys' video.
getting to the end of the day. I am unloading the car that's inside of the other Gleaner M3. Deutz motors are pretty good. There still are a couple you probably should avoid, but that one's good. So I'm loading to the Kilbros cart. The Bradford's on the other side. It gives us 7110. They got the lineup going here. And we're probably going to get a thumbnail picture, everybody. Good thumbnail picture. I'm probably just going to screenshot it when I edit the video. So, or I can probably take a picture while I record this. Got to back up some more. Back up quite a bit more. A little bit more. That looks like a good spot, don't it? I think it took a picture or something like that, good enough. So, we're done with day one. We got a couple more rounds over there. We had a problems with chains last night and I don't feel like running it. I don't know, I, I will run it, but I don't feel very comfortable running it. I have no um, worries that this is gonna overflow this grain cart at all because, well, it holds three dumps. It ain't gonna overflow on number one. Should be able to climb all the way up here and not hurt myself. If I put down the phone like that, that worked out pretty good. There's the corn coming in. Oh, my uncle should be here pretty soon. And I think we're just gonna put some new chains on the uh, combine. And the combine's been running pretty good. And I'll probably get the drone up tomorrow, hopefully. But, this is day one. We got all the kinks worked out of it. We got about one truck load on the road into the co-op. Um, this corn is dry. I think I've mentioned this already, but it's like 15%. And that's the magical moisture where we don't have to pay anybody to dry it. Anything like that. This combine's got to be getting empty. That's going to be a wrap. Um, we see you guys in a few. I'm going to probably, we're probably going to combine some more, try to combine some more, but I'll wait for my uncle. So, see you guys in a few. Hey guys, I got a visitor here with me. My cousin's here. He's four years old. Hi. I'm five. He's five. Actually, he's five. And my dad's right there with the combine. He ain't too far away right now. Should probably turn the flash on on this thing, but I can't. So we're gonna start walking up to him. He ain't going too fast with that no. new six row head. I told him to be a little bit more quieter. And that the people wanted to see the combine work. So he's a little bit more quieter now. He told me. There's a hole right there, bud. Oh, you dodged it. Remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button too. Helps me out a little bit.
part where you run back into the tractor. No. I'm gonna be first. First one back in the tractor. Oh, them corn stalks came flying out of the back of that tractor so fast you won't believe how much that hurts. See you guys in the few. So here's a good question for all you guys out there. Um, there's one combine there, as you can see, I turned the flash on. Then there's another light up there. You know what we got going tonight? Two combines, it can't see, so. That one you can see pretty good. That's my uncle's combine. I think it's a pretty good combine. It takes the uh, grain off the stalk. They all do kind of, unless they're in the junkyard. So, um, we're just gonna hammer out some more corn tonight. We're probably gonna try to ship another truck. We'll see. If we do, I'll keep you guys posted. And night harvesting with these combines is kind of a pain because there's a lot that can go wrong very quickly. And I cannot see my gears here. There's the gears for this machine. It's a quad range machine. If you want to go check out that video, you, you can do it right after this one. It's how to operate a John Deere 4630. You can go watch that one. Um, yeah. So, I don't know if the drain car does. I haven't checked that yet. Because my uncle finished the other field and they dumped in it, I would like to say, two more times after I did. But the last time really wasn't quite a filling dump. And the focus is off you guys at the moment. Oh, well, I could have just brought the 7110 out here. But that's the time we go. Sometimes we'll have to go back <laughs> after we get a couple more bushels. Um, should be able to see both combines over there. Not really. I can see them. I think one of them's getting to be in full. But this corn is doing pretty good. It's kind of grinding it up a little, but we aren't getting docked, so it really can't be that bad. But I think one of them is getting to be full, and they're going to top me off. And then I'm going to go back and get the 7110. And I'll probably see you guys when I grab the other tractor and grain cart. So, see you guys all in a few. Here's a sight. One combine there. One combine there. And a red tractor. Two combines, one red tractor, and one green grain cart behind the red tractor. You got to go head to head. Leaner M3 versus Leaner M3. In three, two, one, I'm just joking. I don't want to step out of the camp quite yet, but this ain't some, this corn's doing better than the other stuff. Um, yeah, I think it's doing better, but hopefully we can get this whole field off tonight. I don't know if we're going to, but we're gonna try. We're gonna try to. Anyways, back in the tractor we go. Um, this is what you drink during harvest. I'm thirsty, so I'm gonna have a drink of it. Um, hopefully we can fill this grain cart and then them two combines, and then be done for the day. And to finish this farm tomorrow. So anyway. They're drinking my stuff there. I've been coughing for a couple days. And the soybean dust got to get out of your system somehow, I guess. And that one's starting over there. Um, I keep forgetting the drone, so there won't be any drone footage. Yay, boo! I don't know. One of them's got to be getting fuller now. The corn here isn't uh, has better roots than the stuff that the other stuff. You might unload on the go. I don't know how much is in the combine that's whipping around right there. I don't know how much is in it, but they're both going. There's number one, then there should be number two following behind. Two combines out in the field. That's a sight. <coughs> Sorry. That's a pretty cool sight. I'll get out for you guys. Oh, no, 
I'm in the grain cart tractor again. I did combine for a little bit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that clip. I think we have one dump in this grain cart right now. Yeah, my windows are all dusty and polleny, I guess. That's what you guys say, but uh, we'll turn on the heat. Yo, that's better. That's good heat. It's warm in here now. So we're just going to hammer out as much as we can, and I'm going to catch you guys at the end of the video. So that's going to end it, and I'll see you guys in the next clip, which will sadly be your last watching these amazing greener combines. And that's going to finish your guys' video for today. We have around three to five acres of corn on this farm to finish, and then we go to our next farm <coughs> next week because... This corn on the other farm is extremely green and the corn back on this farm is actually doing way better than we expected it would. And it's nice corn here. Throw them back on the head. Um, we're having a soil person come out here and then check our soils and stuff because this ain't adding up the height of the corn and the roots and stuff. It's just odd. But here's the um, 71 tenants coming in. I drove the combine home. I don't know where he's going to put that track, but the LEDs are nice and bright on it. I like it. And there should be another combine behind him. Yep, that's my uncle's combine. He's got a greener head on his, and he just hit that. So, uh, yeah, oops, 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 and it fell back down. <laughs> it hit it. Oops. Too bad. So we're going to shut down for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. You guys helped me out a lot and we're gonna get the drone up next time and i hope you guys enjoyed and have a good day or evening and once again thank you for watching my amazing videos i love the support and i love you people and see you guys in my next video hopefully you enjoyed